aspartame is a common artificial sweetener found in over 6,000 products worldwide, especially in diet soda products. It is the most consumed artificial sweetener in the United States. With the power of slick marketing, the public has been led to believe that aspartame is safer and healthier than regular sugar. But nothing could be further from the truth. Aspartame accounts for 75% of adverse reactions to food additives reported to the FDA. The most common reaction is a headache or a migraine, but many reactions are very serious, including seizures and death. Aspartame has also been linked to depression and increased weight, yet these products continue to be marketed as healthy options that support calorie restriction. Aspartame is composed of 40% aspartic acid, 50% phenylalanine, and 10% methanol or wood alcohol. The amino acids, aspartic acid, and phenylalanine benefits your body's function, but you ingest these amino acids excessively in aspartame. Aspartame is an excitotoxin that excites or stimulates your brain cells to death. On the other hand, too much phenylalanine can change your brain's physiology and deplete you of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that helps regulate mood. Naturally occurring methanol found in certain fruits and vegetables is firmly bonded to pectin, which allows the methanol to be safely passed through your digestive tract. The phenylalanine methyl bond, called a methyl ester, is very weak and allows the methyl group on the phenylalanine to easily break off and form methanol. Methanol from aspartame is extremely dangerous to humans. It is carried to susceptible tissues in your body where alcohol dehydrogenase, ADH, converts it to formaldehyde, the fluid used for embalming. Your body lacks key enzymes that eliminate formaldehyde that accumulate in your cells and wreak havoc on sensitive proteins and DNA. It is linked to breast and prostate cancer, as well as oxidative damage in your brain. Animals have a protective mechanism that allows methanol to be broken down into harmless formic acid. But there is a major biochemical problem with methanol in humans because of the difference in how it's metabolized compared to all other animals. This is why toxicology testing on animals is a flawed model. It doesn't fully apply to humans. But why is aspartame still on the market? Aspartame was discovered by accident in 1965 when James Schlatter, a chemist of G.D. Searle Company, was testing an anti-ulcer drug. G.D. Searle fervently pushed for the approval of aspartame on the market to no avail. Scientific evidence, including the Bressler Report, created in 1977, linked aspartame to a number of side effects, including a huge risk of brain tumors. It also revealed fraud and manipulation of data done on aspartame studies. One day after the inauguration of Ronald Reagan in 1981, Searle reapplied to the FDA for approval to use aspartame as a food sweetener. Its CEO, Donald Rumsfeld, had Dr. Arthur Hull Hayes Jr. appointed as the new FDA commissioner. Hayes appointed a five-person scientific commission to review the current decision on aspartame. When it became clear that the panel would uphold the ban, Hayes installed a sixth member who voted in favor of aspartame. He broke the tie in aspartame's favor, which led to the inevitable approval of the sweetener in 1983. In 1985, Monsanto purchased G.D. Searle and made Searle Pharmaceuticals and the NutraSweet company separate subsidiaries. Today, there are over 900 published studies revealing the detrimental effects of aspartame. Migraines are the most reported aspartame reaction. Chronic exposure to this sweetener can bring about or worsen serious conditions such as asthma, lymphomas and leukemia, brain tumors and brain cancer, irritable bowel syndrome, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis and epilepsy. Aspartame's connection to cancer cannot be ignored. Excitotoxins like aspartame have been found to dramatically promote cancer growth. A researcher found that when cancer cells were exposed to aspartame, they became more mobile, and their metastasis, or spread, became more enhanced. The longest ever human aspartame study, spanning 22 years and conducted by the Brigham and Women's Hospital from Harvard University, found a clear association between aspartame consumption and increased risk of blood cancers. The Harvard study found that men who consumed more than one diet soda per day had a heightened risk of developing multiple myeloma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Leukemia was associated with diet soda intake in both sexes. This study strongly confirms the dangers of aspartame for humans, as it is the first large-scale and long-term observational human study ever conducted on this sweetener. But after yielding to severe pressure from the industry, the researchers downplayed their findings, minimizing the impact of the study. 
Despite these red flags, food manufacturers still continue to use aspartame for their products. In fact, the International Dairy Foods Association and the National Milk Producers Federation have petitioned the FDA to amend the standard of identity for milk to allow aspartame to be added to it without being listed on the label. Contrary to promises of diet soda and diet products containing it, aspartame can make you gain weight by stimulating your appetite, increasing your cravings for carbohydrates, and promoting fat storage. Aspartame toxicity is not well known by doctors, despite its frequency. Most of its symptoms mimic other health conditions, so if you're having a reaction to sweeteners, you may be unaware of it or are blaming it on another cause. To see if you're suffering from aspartame toxicity, eliminate all artificially sweetened products from your diet for two weeks. Reintroduce them to your diet one by one for about three servings per day. Compare how you feel with when you weren't taking any sweeteners. If you notice no changes, your body is able to tolerate it acutely without any immediate response. If you notice that you are experiencing side effects, you should immediately report it to the FDA by going to the FDA Consumer Complaint Coordinator website and calling the phone number for your state. Stick to natural sweeteners such as stevia, lohan, and dextrose. Take note that even these should be consumed in moderation. If you are struggling with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, insulin sensitivity issues, or are overweight, it is recommended to avoid all types of sweeteners, both artificial and natural. For more information, visit Mercola.com.